Hi, I'm Nick. I'm the founder and the mentor of Soda Cyber Dragons Robotics Team. Hi, I'm Claire. I'm one of the members of Hardware from Soda Cyber Dragons Team. Hi, I'm Kristen. I'm a software team member for the Soda Cyber Dragons Robotics Team. Hi, I'm Ben Lam. I manage the data engineering team at a financial institution. So, Ben, you work in the financial industry. Um, a lot, I know a lot of people don't really understand what that means, especially high schoolers. Mm -hmm. uh, so, what, what is the financial industry? Um, <clears throat> in, in very high level terms, it's basically money management, right? Um, and there's really, within the industry, there's really two sectors, you can say. One is the management of your personal money, which is called consumer and commercial banking, which is commercial being business. The other side is investments and trade, stock, uh, 401k, things like that. And so uh, those two are primarily kept separate because of regulatory requirements. And usually there isn't a, a, a trade of money. For example, if you invest some stock and the bank got your money on some stock, they can't take that and turn around and loan it to somebody as a car loan. They can't. So at a high level, it's uh, money management, both on a personal and business side, and investments. Okay. So, um, what's a normal day like for you? Uh, <laughs> typically, I'm in a meeting typically from 8 in the morning until almost 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. That's because of East Coast. Uh, and I'm lucky if I get half an hour lunch in there somewhere. And usually it's a quick. Mm -hmm. um, and then after uh, 2 p.m., it's people in San Francisco, people on the West Coast. I have some meetings with them as well. Um, my typical day is projects mm -hmm. that are um, impacting digital in some way. So I, I work on the digital side. Digital meaning anything that's on mobile, that's anything that's on the web. I allow people to manage their money from a digital perspective. Uh, and then improving their digital experience making it easy for them to make a payment, to transfer money, to, uh, to uh, pay a bill, uh, to make an investment, uh, to buy a stock, right? things like that, mm -hmm. to, to see their accounts really quickly, right? And to be able to see all their accounts in one place, instead of going to you know, three different apps just to see how, how am I doing, right? Um, so that's number one. Number two is what could possibly break? problems. Uh, part of my job for, to help my team is, as a leader, I unblock problems that keeps them from moving forward, right? So they're working on projects that some are very hands-on, some are just coordinating with a lot of people, and they, and they get blocked. Sometimes some partner is, is disagreeing with them on a particular feature they want to launch or a specific implementation, and, and they get locked. And so they usually have to call in their managers or they escalate higher. And sometimes I come in and step and help. And sometimes I am the decision maker when, or a tiebreaker, mm -hmm. right? And, and go, let's go this way, and let's have these other options as backup that doesn't, doesn't work. So I provide guidance that way. Um, um, by and large, that's, that's what I do. The, the other part, which is not as frequent, my manager sometimes needs something from her managers, which is coming from higher. Uh, she needs me to put a presentation together, a couple slides together for a bigger topic presentation. So I, I work on that, we go through several revisions, uh, and then I deliver that. And sometimes she asks me to talk about it during the presentation. Mm -hmm. right. So, uh, yeah, that's in, in a nutshell. Are there any particular reasons that someone might be interested in the financial industry? So, <clears throat> one of the reasons why I took this job is, you know, I think everybody's interested in money in some way or form, right? And okay. you, you, you're gonna open a bank account, you're gonna have to figure out how to manage that bank account, you're gonna have a checking savings, you're gonna have credit cards, right? Everything in this world impacts you financially in some way. And, and so one of the uh, interesting thing is that when you're working in the financial industry, you get to figure out how does money move around? How, how is money generated? How do I make more money? Right? How do I make uh, customers make more money such that they help the company make more money, right? generate more revenue? So um, I think people, I think just about everybody should be interested in finance in one 
way or another. Mm -hmm. You don't necessarily have to be deeply immersed in the industry itself, but um, you should be if you are interested in pursuing a career in that area. Right? So generally, people who 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 are interested in how money works, like in in the world, like the deeper workings of like where does your money go if if you deposit it in a bank or something like how? Yeah. Um, I mean, you, you, you think about it today, right? So let's, a long time ago, there was no such thing as currency. Mm -hmm. They trade, they barter. I'll give you three chickens for, you know, uh, a pig or whatever, right? And, and so uh, along the way, they created this concept of, okay, I'll trade you this piece of paper, which is that has some value, and you give me something else of equal value, mm -hmm. right? And so money became, or currency became a way of exchanging values between one or more parties, like two or more parties, right? So, um, so I, I think from 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 that, you in you know, moving forward many years to today, everything is digital, right? You don't see paper money anymore. I I, I transfer money to you. It's just a bunch of numbers mm -hmm. like that you know takes away from my account, adds to your account. Mm -hmm. That's all it is. People rarely nowadays need to use cash, even right? Credit cards, debit cards, uh, prepaid cards. Um, yeah, I mean it's 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 moving to a point where um, even you know all the paper assets will disappear in some future. Yeah, right? like bitcoins and stuff. Like exactly right. The cryptocurrency is, yeah. is very um, very big, and and that technology could be used in other areas like mm -hmm. protecting your um, um, mar trademarks or music. Yeah. Right, you can protect that uh, as well, and then certain people can only play your music if they abide by the rules embedded in that currency, in that uh, this value there. Right? Since money is such a part, a large part of our society, do you think that job stability was one thing that attracted you to this field? Um, what I do is more engineering. And engineering spreads across all industries, regardless of, um, it doesn't matter what industry, every, Every now, every company, every entity nowadays needs some kind of technical team that supports it. Every company has a website. Every company has some kind of Twitter or Facebook account that has to be managed. And in all that, there's a, a, a multitude of roles that needs to fit together to have that be successful. You need someone in marketing. You need someone who's, a, who's an analyst. You need someone who's a business analyst. Right? You need someone who's able to manage all the projects, come in and coordinate, make sure things are moving forward. And you need the back end people, the engineers that build all the stuff. Um, and then you need people who manage them. Right? And there's management at different levels, people who make decisions, who people who come up with uh, ideas to, and propose to say, hey, if you give me $100,000 for this project, in five years I can turn that around to $5 million. Mm -hmm. Right in revenue. That's a, a return on investment on this project here. So a lot of these people that actually sits and calculates that value. At two year, you you get this X dollar back. At three years, you break even. At four years, you start making a profit, and so on. That's mm -hmm. something that's you know, good for economics. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, you so calculate that. Speaking of which, um, you, you said you wanted to be um, economics major. Uh, how how can she get into the financial industry? Wow, I mean, uh, when you first mentioned that earlier, I mean, economics is very broad. I mean, there's there's uh, macro and micro economics, right? Local versus global, right? Um, there's trade, there's marketing, um, and you know, obviously, financial money movement. So, you you'll need to figure out what area interests you, right? Because it's such a broad topic, and then you want to go to, do I want to be something that's more of an analyst, that's more research, right? You um, figure out when some event happens, like a, a natural disaster, what kind of economic impact does it have to a certain region, like uh, Hurricane Matthew that just came by, right? How do they calculate that it's going to co cost us $5 billion to rebuild what was damaged and lost? insurance and all that right so insurance is another big area mm -hmm. so um, yeah you, you you need to figure out what what area parts. yeah I mean yeah, as I said there's trade there's investments there's uh, banking 
which is different, right? And uh, there's um, different markets, uh, markets that are regional, right? Um, and then you're talking about different um, levels of economy in, in, in the world. You know, f we are the first richest, right? There's uh, level two, third world countries. H how are their economies, right? And then you, you get to study, you can study them and figure out in what ways, what can be introduced into that region or that country and its people to help improve its economy. How, and usually when you say improve people's economy, you're basically talking about dollars per capita. If I'm making a thousand dollars a year, how do we improve that to two thousand dollars a year for someone who's in a third world country, right? Improve their ability to buy more, to uh, basically spend more, which basically improves the economy, right? The more you spend, the more business there is, uh, hopefully the more business we invest that revenue back into the business business grows and then people who work there get more pay and then it becomes a, it becomes a, a positive spiral going up right. um, so it's it's yeah you'll have to do some some research in, and that's what college is for mm -hmm. right you, you find that along the way would you actually do in a financial industry so um, my team and I we basically gather all the data and and we put the data together uh, in, a, in a business friendly uh, view that is consumable by not just our you know CEO our executive uh, senior pre vice presidents but also Wall Street and so what my team does is that we have we collect a lot of data what do you spend on what's your credit card spend what is your debit spend what how much money do you have in checking and savings account uh, what kind of investments do you have? What is your demographic? Are you Asian? What are you married? Well, you do you have kids? Where are you along in your lifestyle? So we put all that together to know the demographics of our customer, and we create different segments that they're a part of. And from that, we can figure out okay, well, there, there, there's a business to that, right? That that is given that I know Nick, he's just graduated. He's interested in going to college. Right, we we understand his parents' financial uh, financial situation because they they bank with us, they invest with us, right? Okay, right. So, so maybe we can offer Nick a college loan that is at a reasonable interest rate that is acceptable, right? So that's a, a promotional um, opportunity that the bank can provide, right? Um, and so my team basically, it's called data engineering team. We we, we do write software, we do interact with a lot of different databases, and we pull data into a common data platform that all this analysis can be done. And, and what I like to do is some, some, I like to collaborate and make that open, open it up to any analyst who wants access to that data, mm -hmm. right? Uh, and of course, that data, some, some of it is very privileged data that they don't need. They don't need your social security number, they don't need your address. Maybe they just need to know that you are a person who are who lives in this region, who is of this demographic and of this financial uh, segmentation. And then, okay, because you're in this way, we can try to help improve your standing mm -hmm. as well as help provide you more opportunities to improve uh, products and services that we offer. Okay. <laughs> and that's all for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have a question of your own, leave it in the comments below.